let's discuss the OSI model and I could get only one good image for this video OSI model or the open systems interconnections model was developed in 1984 by the International Standards Organization or the ISO the core of the standard is the OSI reference model which consists of seven layers which define the different stages that data must go through to travel down from one network to another it is just a guideline and many protocols cover more than one layer and it is divided into two sets which are the application set and the transport set application set consists of application layer presentation layer and sessions layer where the transport set consists of transport layer networks layer data link layer and physical layer now for the layers the topmost is the application layer and it actually interacts with the OS or the applications and makes it possible to read messages and perform other network related activities. The most common protocol of this layer is HTTP and at this layer in peer to peer networking peers are able to communicate directly. Next is the presentation layer and it takes the data provided by the application layer and converts it into a format which the other layers can understand. It converts data, send over networks from one representation to another, applies compression techniques, which transport layer later decompresses, and applies sophisticated encryption techniques. Following that is the sessions layer and it establishes, maintains, and ends the communication with the receiving devices. It makes sessions, those are instances of communication and data exchange between nodes, and this layer makes sure that these sessions are properly established and maintained. Moving over to the transport set, we have the transport layer and it maintains the flow of data and provides error checking and recovery of data between devices. It integrates the application data into a single stream for the physical network. In this layer, the network starts communicating with each other and the most common protocol of this layer is TCP. And in the network layer, the way data is sent to the recipient device is determined. Protocols, routing and addressing are addressed here. It takes the responsibility of logical addressing and logical addressing is the situation when we want to address the computer with some other convenient name other than the MAC address and other important function of this layer is routing. Moving on to the data link layer, the physical protocol is assigned to the data here and the network and packet switching is also defined here. It is the lowest level at which meaning is assigned to bits. It handles things like size, address, and a way to ensure that two or more nodes do not transmit data on the network at the same time. And finally, we have the physical layer, and this is the level of actual hardware. It defines the physical characteristics of a network such as connections, voltage levels, and timings. It does not assign any meanings to the bits flowing.